Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at the Chief Data Scientist USA Conference in downtown San Francisco, talking to all the smart people, trying to get the best stuff we can get for you. And there's a lot of data scientists and practitioners here. We're excited to have Asad Sheikh on, the Head of Enterprise Data Science for CUNY Mutual. Welcome. Thank you, Jeff. Absolutely, so you are talking here about what it's actually like to be a chief data scientist. Not the paper, not the job description, but really kind of what it is you do day to day. Yeah, exactly, so this is one of the topic I'll be talking, uh, discussing this afternoon. So it's about what exactly is a data science? You know, it's not just, uh, like there's a lot of confusion, like is data science a new name for analytics? Or is it advanced analytics? Or what it is? So. That's, I'll begin my conversation with uh, what is the data science in a real world, right. how it looks like, and talking about two case studies. Okay, one is focused on the customer experience, and the next one is on the revenue growth by doing some analytics on the customer, like real-time analytics. And, and, and also, you got to be a sales guy. I mean, that's what came up one of the earlier panels, is that you know, to be successful, you have to sell the value of what you have into your business units and how you can help them do a better job. Yeah, I think like for a data science group to be successful, uh, you need to have like a 50% sales skills. Uh, I would say like uh, sales, marketing, okay, these are essential, I think. These are the uh, foundation for you to be successful. Right. In addition to doing uh, your actual job. Right. Yeah, because the main reason here is Earlier, it was IT and the business. If you just go back a few years, there wasn't a centralized data teams. They were not there earlier, right? So IT was addressing most of the data issues and the business was doing. So now, uh, all the organizations, they realized, you know, like how can we really derive the more value from the data? So they started centralizing the data teams. So, uh, so that's, that's a new role and the new group itself. Right. So uh, the first thing is, uh, it, it's more about like, as you said, sales and marketing. You need to market yourself because you're new in this. A any organization you take it. Right. Okay, so first market yourself. Tell what, what exactly you offer, how it is different from earlier. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's a marketing and sales speech. And again, like so, what exactly it means, how do you help them grow their revenues? How right. do you help manage the risk better than the past? Right. And how do you help achieve the operational efficiency? Uh, in a nutshell, so probably it's more about uh, how do you meet, how can we help you meet the corporate and the business area goals using data science? Right, it was yeah. interesting that came up one of the earlier panels today that it was really you know, asking the customers, what do you need help with? How can I help you get through your day-to-day -day job better? Not really giant strategic initiatives, but really yeah. tactical things so that then you can bring the power of data science to bear to help them solve their problems and move their objectives forward. Yeah, th there are two folds to it. Okay, so one is definitely, uh, I completely agree with you. Okay, one is we need to offer and help wherever it is needed. Uh, I'm afraid if that is the only case, we'll end up in a situation of just supporting helping, uh, making them more efficient. But where the industry is evolving today, okay, is not in that area much, okay? So the, the where the industry is leveraging the data science today, like we can see like in the past five years, a lot of organizations like, yes, everybody knows what name I'm going to take, Uber. Right, right. Okay, so uh, we saw this morning. So Uber, they don't own any cars, okay? But they're the world's largest uh, taxi company, right, similarly. So that is the thing, so th this is the breakthrough. Okay, there, these are the organizations using the data science to evolve completely. So it's not just supporting and helping people to be more efficient, it's to show that, okay, how can we discover new products for you? Right, right. Okay, how can we research what competitors are doing, can we do better than them? How can we help grow revenues? Okay, it's not just supporting. I think th that is where the data science has a real edge over what we are doing in the past versus now. Right. Yeah. So has Uber, in, you said uh, Kenya Mutual's been around for 80 years. Yeah. 4,000 people. Uh, mature, mature business, mature market. Uh, is your management afraid of the Uber of your, of your world? I mean, have that, has that sunk into them? Because Uber was not just another taxi company. It wasn't yeah. the green taxi company taking on the yellow taxi company. Um, Airbnb was not Hilton taken on Hyatt, taken on 
the West end. I mean, they fundamentally changed the business based on using data, mobile applications, and really reassembling things in a new way. Yeah. Um, does your management, I don't want to pick on your company specifically, but you know, within your industry, do they see the potential of that happening to them? And are they using you to try to fend that off or look for, as you said, kind of more proactive ways to, uh, to get ahead of that curve? Yeah, exactly. You know, like, so uh, this is where is the concern across the industry, especially the financial industry. So Uber is in the taxi space, you know, but there are some organizations within the financial industry, like Lending Club, to name it. Okay, and uh, there's one more. The, uh, they are in the conference. Okay, with the recently started, of, you know, it's well, a fintech. There's a bunch of those, right? Yeah, yeah. there are a bunch of those, and we can see the way they are growing the business, and uh, they're competing with larger banks like Bank of America, Chase, and right. everything. So, it's everybody. Like even if you see like uh, one of the largest banks in the world, okay, they realize, okay, it's going to be a threat. They started their own fintech. I don't want to give the name. The name, one of the largest bank, right, right. that has the largest presence in the world. Okay, they started a new company known as a fintech. So this is where they are also thinking. So let's be ready for this competition. So right. it's not far. The, the one of the fear, I don't say like a fear, but one of the concern for these organizations, it's not far when Amazon and Google, you know, will start introducing. They already started. You know, so taking up, uh, capturing this market. Right, right. So how can we stay ahead of them or at least compete with them? You know, I think this is a concern across the industry. And and has your management again, not just pick on your company specifically, but you know, within the industry and or your management, kind of come to the realization that they need to bring you to the table in a proactive, you know, new services way as opposed to just wringing out extra efficiency, right? Because you can't exactly. save your way to growth, right? That's an age old. Yeah, exactly. Idea. So uh, just going back to my experience in the same field, uh, being a chief data scientist at other banks, I was there. So the goals were different earlier. Okay, um, uh, most of my time spent was on the risk management, doing the analytics to manage the risk better. But now what I can see, the trend has changed. They said, okay, give, uh, no, risk is very important to the banks and the insurance industries and credit unions, but the way they are transforming their strategy is focused on generate more revenues, right. either using the current process or introduce the new products right. or the new business lines and use the data science to do that one. I can see a lot of organizations, they realize it, they're very open for this change. Mm. And this is happening today. Good. Yeah. So before I let you go, running uh, low on time, um, impressions of the show since you've been here for a couple of days. Any surprises? Um, you know, how's it been kind of being with your peer group in this situation? I think it's uh, fantastic. You know, like, so, uh, the biggest thing is the networking. We, I get to meet the people from the different industry sectors with a similar background in the data science, understanding how they are doing, what they are doing in the data science field and sharing my perspective with them. So it's, 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 it's a fabulous event, I would say. Like, so it really connects the people with similar thoughts, okay, uh, in a different areas. You know, like you, somebody's trying in the healthcare, I'm right. in the financial industry. Right. So try to understand how they are trying to grow their business using the data science versus, you know, it really gives an opportunity for us to connect with the people. So it's a re really a great event. Yeah, today. as opposed yeah. to going to like, you know, kind of your typical industry shows, which probably have a data science track, but you don't quite get that cross industry pollination, yeah. if yep. you will. Exactly. Yeah. All right, super. Well, Saad, thanks for taking yeah. a few minutes out of your busy day. Good luck with your, uh, with your panels later this afternoon. Yep, thank you very much. Absolutely. I'm Jeff Frick, you're watching theCUBE. Thanks for watching.